Ladies and gentlemen, your next bout of the evening. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, please welcome Christoph Dalle. opponent fighting out of the red corner please welcome Elvis Silva Ladies and gentlemen, your next bout of the evening to be fought over three five-minute rounds at a professional mixed martial arts rules in the 61 kilogram category. Brought to you in association with KNA Hair and Beauty. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, representing Frontline, please welcome Christopher Dare. His opponent standing across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, representing Rio Fighters. Please welcome Elvis Silva. Your referee in charge, the action team over Hedy. Christopher DeRay out of the blue corner, and Elvis Silva in the red corner. And we see Silva in the tight, long, black shorts. And DeRay with the red trim there, with the black and white. And big leg kicks from Silva early on. Yeah, you see uh, Darry's uh, knee buckle on that one. Nice shot in from Silva. He's got a single leg now. Lots of ways he could finish this. Nice, he goes for, uh, he goes for kind of a cradle position. Doesn't quite get it. 
And Dario does well to, to reverse the position. And now he's got pressure up against the cage. Christopher now with the head pressure. Does a great job of getting the forehead underneath the chin of Silva. Might look to separate in this position. And work some strikes, but these are the pro set rules here. So we can elbow in this position. We can fire knees to the body and to the head. And Silver early on working the leg kicks, but in the exchange, he opted to go for the takedown. And it said to me that maybe he tasted the power of Christopher and wanted to take this fight to the ground. Yeah, perhaps he didn't like it. I mean, again, there he's gone for a single. He's trying to get the takedown. Um, at this point, I think he favors a, a bit of groundwork. Not quite got the double unders, double under hooks at the moment. So we're kind of in a 50 50 position, both fighters. Oh, a nice leg trip, straight on top. Silver now working on the top position. He's going to look to pass those legs. And Christopher recognizes that, pulls the full guard here, working the punches to distract, working the elbows. But it's ultimately Silver's got to pass this position, he's got to get past the legs. See there, he tries to step over there to his right side. He wants to get past the legs and get into a better position. Side control, full mount. He'll do more damage from those positions. Yeah, certainly. And, and Darry using a very low guard on the hips. He wants to, it's looking like he wants to get distance uh, between himself and his opponent. And now with the butterfly hooks at the moment, see if he can get some elevation. Oh, we almost have a full mount from Silver, but not quite. He's got to watch his leg, Silver. Well, this is interesting. Check this out, the heel hook here. And he's trying to threaten with the toho, the figure four here. Allowed in the pro, pro rule set. We saw it earlier. wasn't allowed in the amateur. And there's the, we've got a heel hook going on and then a figure four toe hold here. In your opinion, which is going to go on the quickest here, Colin? Well, it's all about angles. I mean, it doesn't quite look like Darry has the angle of the heel hook. He needs to adjust it. Um, but, yeah, we get neither. You know, it's, um, the angles weren't right for both of them. And the crowd respond in a clap. They understand that in that exchange, they're both in danger and did a great job of getting out of that position. Yeah, nice to see an educated crowd down here in Eastbourne. And here we go with the head kicks here from Christopher. He's doing a great job of using the jab, working the distance. Nice overhand right here from Silva. And again, we're seeing Christopher pressure Silva up against the cage. Yeah, Silva, if he can, wants to rotate out of this position. Silver trying to work Christopher. He's trying to turn him around to the cage so he can be on the outside and Christopher's on the inside. He understands that the pressure here is too much for him up against this cage. And it's, it's a difficult job for him to drag this fight to the ground from this position here. He doesn't want the cage to block him. You know, he needs to almost certainly circle out, work the strikes, look for the takedown. Yeah, cage work is an art in itself. A lovely leg catch and then straight into the takedown. It was very well timed from Silver. Now he's on top in side control. Darry using the cage really well. Silva now working the dash choke. It's possible to finish from the stand in here, but he wants to drag Christopher down to the ground. He can finish it from the top position or indeed with Christopher on top of him. But now it looks like he's working the guillotine arm in. And look at that defense here by Christopher. Excellent. Great awareness from, from Christopher. Seen some great techniques here. Oh, big shots from Darry. Silver looking for that overhand right, changes levels. But Christopher doing a good job of timing those changes in his, I mean, what he's got to do is drop his hands, essentially look for the underhooks and sprawl, but he's working the Kimura grip here now. Yeah, very smart move. I mean, he can get, he can get a reverse. Oh, he's looking for the switch. Almost hits the switch. Doesn't quite get it, nice up kick. Doesn't quite find its mark. Oh, big shot from Silva. Yeah, the crowd react that way. We heard that one echoed throughout this venue. I'm really impressed with Christopher's ability to kind of put together these techniques and not get flustered by the more experienced fighter and not kind of be afraid of those ground exchanges. He's throwing up his own submissions. You know, he's using up kicks to distract Silva from the passing game and getting a dominant position. Yeah, I mean, although uh, Dario was taken down um, a few times, um, he just seems like he's in, he's in total control. He knows exactly what he's doing. You know, he's taken the center of the cage a few times and um, he seems to be in control. But great from both guys so far. We've seen some, some, some beautiful stuff. 
We get set for round two. Silva now opting to take a lower stance here. Could mean he's loading up for a big kick or a big punch or change to change levels and look for a takedown. Oh. Look at that right hand. And Silva's swarming in to try and finish this fight. But Christoph's composure is beautiful. Straight back to his feet. Oh, he rocked him. And now Silva's going to take this opportunity to get a dominant position. He's looking to take the back here and get both hooks in. It looks like he's got the left hook in here, Colin. He's got to sneak that right leg round and get that right hook. Not quite got both hooks in yet, no. Um, but he can keep working for the choke without it. He doesn't have to have the hooks in. It would be better for his control, but this is, is not a great, great position for Darry. I mean... He's, yeah, I mean, he's, he, we've got the, the triangle around the body now. So Silva now not able to get that hook, I think cause, because the cage was on that right side, so he's opted to go to the body triangle here, Colin. Which is does, smart, yeah. Yeah, does that give him an affordance to stay on the back more tightly? Yeah, yeah, I mean, he's not, he, he's, he's definitely on him now, and he'll stay there as, as long as he wants, really. Very tough to get out of this position. Now, he, it looks like he's applying the choke. I don't know how deep, it looks pretty deep. And Silva now using his jiu-jitsu techniques. Looks like that arm is fast. He's gone to the modified grip there. The short choke. Short choke, palm to palm grip, yeah. He opts to leave it there in favor of keeping this position. He might look to go into the mounted position here and rain down the strikes. Christopher's got to get out of this position. Again, he turns his back. Very smart from Silva. Threatens the choke. If it's not there, it goes back to striking again. Very, very smart. And that's his jiu-jitsu pedigree here, shining in this MMA fight. The able, ability to stay on top, rain down punches, and stay in a favorable position, not get swept off. Well, the, you know, the, the old school jiu-jitsu was you really only use your punches to set up your submissions, and it's working really well for him now. Still here working from the back. He's got to keep busy here. The referee's asking for some action. He's got to get after this, work strikes. Christoph trying to pull him off the back there, trying to shake him off. Yeah, he's trying to grab the back of the head there to compress and then shake off. But this is such a, a tough position. I mean, he's carrying all of his opponent's weight on his back whilst trying to protect his neck and, you know, anticipating strikes from coming in. I can see the Silva posting out with his right arm. He's using that to keep himself low on the belt line of the back here. And the separation from the referee. And he's, he's explained to Silva, you've got that position, but you've got to use it. Right, right, yeah. I mean, fair point. You can't just hang on there. And again, he's looking for those power punches. Could be winding up for that big right hand again. Yeah, Christoph now gauging the distance of that lead hand, looking for the straight right down the center. Has Christopher fully recovered though? I mean, he, that was such a big shot. You know, he almost did a 360 spin. And um, he, he seemed to recover quickly, but was then put into a bad spot with the with his back being taken. Lovely leg trip again from the Brazilian. And it's so refreshing to see organizations like Fight, Sparta Fight Series bring in these fighters from around the world. You know, we've got Norway and Brazil here fighting, and I mean, that's that's a distance to travel, but he's bringing it down to, to Eastbourne to put on a show for the fans. Oh, another big right hand, and a kick, and a left from Silva. And a takedown. Beautiful work. Beautiful work. Silva's got the hips now. I wonder if he's going to stay there. Um, darry has got the he's got the overhook. Yeah, he's got the overhook position. So Christopher now trying to stay on his feet here. He's using that overhook there. And he's going to try and pummel in for the double underhooks here in circle and maybe get out of this position here. I mean, Silva's obviously confident with his jiu-jitsu. That's why he keeps looking for the takedown. Christoph has got to get some kind of distance between them so we can strike. But now he needs to go. Wow, these <laughs> silver shots are, are huge shots. You do not want to get caught with one of those. Christopher throwing those big head kicks, but Silva just able to get that arm up to take most of the blow on the leg. Yeah, Christoph looking for a combo there. Almost went for an inside leg trip, almost got it, but not quite. Really impressive to see um, Christoph Darry weather that storm. You know, that was a, such a heavy shot. Christoph again with that beautiful kind of dictation of the, the distance there, but Silva's just right on him. 
Looking for the takedown. Big elbows from this position here. We've seen people being knocked out from this position. Yeah, he's hanging on to that leg for dear life there. And the crowd with the claps. And this is hard for a fight on both sides. I mean, we've seen some outstanding power from Silva, some nice footwork from Christoph. But I mean, it's, it's the takedowns for me that are shining through from Silva. Yeah, I mean, his takedowns are great. He goes in like a double leg, but picks up the single um, and gets his, the takedown from there. I really like his, his, um, his trips. <coughs> um, he, he uses it really well. Um, I mean, he's, he's also very dangerous with his striking, his punching. He, I mean, I know that they're big shots, they're big haymakers, but you only need to connect once and, you know, that can be it. Just a wipe up here of the cage, just to eliminate that slip hazard before they get back underway. We're back again, action, Christoph and Elvis. And we've seen Elvis work the kicks and often he'll start to, start to change levels after that big overhand right. Christoph doing a great job of stuffing those takedowns, Colin. Yeah, really good timing on that one. Um, you know, he, he, he looked like he wanted to start striking um, Silva decided to defend the takedown instead and then now has ended up on top so it was great timing from him. Christoph looking to pass now and look at that passes off to half guard now he's got the affordance to drop elbows in this pro rule set he can punch from this position and he can drop elbows he can frame on the head and drive that elbow down that left elbow just like that yeah, yeah it's, it's, a, it's a great position to be in. It's a good tactic with somebody someone so, someone so dangerous underneath him Silva's excellent in, in, in the Brazilian jiu-jitsu realm and he's doing a great job of keeping him busy. You know, there's the old saying, you're a black belt, you get hit, you're a, you're a brown belt. You're a brown belt, you get hit, you're a purple belt. You know, so every strike counts and, and Silva's got to make sure that he takes that into account and adjusts accordingly. Yeah, that's it. Quote from the great Carlson Gracie. And um, very true in MMA. Silva now eating these punches. And in the pro rule set, they've got the smaller gloves. So they're four ounce gloves there, a lot less padding. So the power transfers a lot easier. Christoph now on top, trying to work his posture up. Silver on the bottom, gonna look to try and stand to his feet potentially. Yeah, I mean he has the underhook there. I mean really, he, he's he should look to you know edge back to the cage. The cage can be your friend at times, and he needs to use it to get up. Oh, nice shot from from Christoph there. Oh, nice reversal. And now he takes the back. Not quite a good position, yeah, not the best position that one. Um, he was a little bit high, or silver. But we're, we're seeing so many different techniques here. This is, this is a great fight. It seems to me that silver perhaps is starting to tire in this fight. I mean, you can see that by the way he, tr he tries to jump the back um, almost a bit too early before getting a, a good position to get shaken off. He kind of is trace chasing the finish here in this fight. And that could be alluded to the fact that he's getting a little bit tired. Whoa, big punches being thrown here, toe to toe, some nice movement from Silva. Silva's looking for that KO punch. Christoph's just coming forward, don't know. he's a tough guy. You know, if Silva is getting tired, it does appear that he is. I mean, that will happen when you're putting 100% into every shot. He's still trying for the takedown though. Looking for that inside trip again, and, and you could—I mean—you could argue that Christoph has seen those throughout this fight. So he just skips the leg back. He understands. He understands the timing now. So Silva's going to have to switch up, dig into the toolbox, and look for different takedowns. And as we say that, he drops down for the single leg again, and Christoph working the switch here. Yeah, great technique, the switch. Oh, he ends up underneath Silva. I love how the crowd respond. They understand. Ten years ago, you wouldn't get that. No. Now they understand when Silva's on top in, in, in the side control position, he's in a dangerous position. But look at Christoph doing a great job of reversing that position. Now looking to use the cage and the forehead to drive Silva down to the mat so he can use some strikes to distract him. Yeah, Christoph on top. Top now. He's, he's, it looks like he's opting to try and pass rather than strike at the moment. And just control, yeah, I mean, he's got great control here. You can see he's getting shoulder in the face now, making life very difficult for Silva. 
And Silva does just seem to be slowing a, a little bit more in this round. Christos very heavy from the top, looking to place those elbows downward onto Silva. And Silva at this point in time is looking to turn in, potentially looking for a sweep here. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's, he's got the leg, he can do it. He's got the underhook there and he gets up. Excellent work from Silva, using that opportunity to stand back to his feet here. Then there's the body work from both athletes, some nice punches and a knee returned to, from Silva. He's looking to his corner here for advice. Unsure what he's actually saying. He's, he's asking for the time. He's asking for the time. He's definitely tired. Okay, smart. See a smart play. No, I mean, I, I wonder if he feels like he's done enough so far to win and he's just trying to survive this. So you think he might look to tie up Christoph and kind of ride this round out? It, it, it seems so. It seems so. I mean, he has been busy this round, don't get me wrong, but he looks exhausted at the moment. Some big knees here from Christoph at the end of the round. And hard fought fight from two very skilled athletes. And we saw that when they tried to implement different techniques in the striking and the grappling realm. You know, they, they didn't really have too much of an edge. Someone would get a dominant position, but couldn't really do too much with it because the other one would defend really well. So it's a well, very well matched fight here at Sparta Fight Zone. You can see Silva on top of the cage, screaming to the crowd, his home country, Brazil. He believes he's done enough to win this fight. He does, he does. Um, well, we don't know yet. We're gonna have to go to the, uh, the judges and find out. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for both warriors. What a great contest tonight. Well, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards with a unanimous decision. Your winner in the red corner, Elvis Silva. If we just grab a quick word with you, how did you feel the fight went? Was that what your plan was? all along to take it that distance, or was it trying to finish him a little bit earlier than that? Vocês vão me desculpar, mas eu não falo inglês. Mas eu só tenho a agradecer, agradecer a Deus em primeiro lugar, meus patrocinadores, minha equipe Rio Fighters, a Sparta MMA, o tempo que eu tô aqui na Inglaterra. E é isso, só tenho que agradecer muito a Deus. E um beijão especial para Camila, que é minha esposa. E obrigado a todos aqui do evento. Thank you very much. Thank you, us. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it one more time for your winner, Elvis Silva.